thank you for joining Wars of the Rosies as we begin with part one, Forward and Preface of the Lost Word, Its Hidden Meaning by George H. Steinmetz. The Murder of Hiram Abiff, see Chapter 8, The Hiramic Legend, from the original painting by A.J. Knapp, never heretofore published, courtesy Philosophical Research Society Library, Los Angeles. The Lost Word, Its Hidden Meaning, a correlation of the allegory and symbolism of the Bible with that of Freemasonry and an exposition of the secret doctrine by George H. Steinmetz with a forward by Manley P. Hall. Illustrations not otherwise credited by Joseph Krieger. Dedication to the Masonic Research Group of San Francisco who are striving to hasten the day when the chrysalis of that living, pulsating, spiritual masonry shall emerge from the cocoon of the dead skull, which now entombs it and assumes its rightful place in the affairs of men intended by the supreme architect. Ford, it is good to know that the literature of philosophical masonry is being enriched by sincere and thoughtful scholarship. The wisdom, strength, and beauty of the Masonic rituals and symbols, the magnificent tradition of the craft, and the wonderful heritage of moral, ethical, and spiritual values which it brings to these troubled times deserve the admiration and respect of all practical idealists. For nearly three centuries, free and accepted Masons, as individuals and as members of a worldwide fraternity, have labored together faithfully and unceasingly as architects and builders of human society. Everywhere they have contributed to progress and have dedicated their lives, their honor, and their worldly goods to the twofold cause of universal brotherhood and universal enlightenment. The heroes and martyrs of masonry have builded well and have bestowed upon their successors a master plan and the tools and instruments for its accomplishment. Through the rituals and lectures of the degrees of the Scottish Rite, the modern mason comes to know and to appreciate the great teachers of the past, the noble philosophers, the inspired seers, and the illuminated mystics, whose lives and teachings have contributed so largely to the essential progress of mankind, the wonderful work of that most learned sovereign grand commander of the ancient and accepted Scottish Rite for the southern jurisdiction of the United States, General Albert Pike, has greatly advanced the philosophical side of modern masonry. His scholarship has pointed the way to the restoration of esoteric masonry. To his genius, the order is indebted for the broader and deeper vision of the origin and destiny of the fraternity. Through him, the modern brother comes to realize the place of Freemasonry in the descent of the sacred mysteries of antiquity. It is most important that the scholarship of masonry should grow and unfold deepen and enrich, along with the physical prosperity of the order. The true strength of the craft is measured, not in terms of material accomplishment alone, but in terms of personal dedication to the service of those eternal truths veiled by the luminous symbols of the craft, to deny the spirit of masonry, to ignore its philosophical footings, or to reject its esoteric doctrine, would be to deprive the craft of its greater glory. Masons today should support and sustain in every way those brothers who are inspired to seek the light and the word. Through their generous and untiring efforts, the literature of philosophical masonry is increasing, and each new work is brought, like the first fruits of the harvest, to the altar of the grand architect of the universe. Masons, Encourage your brothers in their search for the deeper truths. Masonry is a spirit, and those who would truly understand its mysteries must approach them in spirit. Masonry is a quest, an eternal search for the answer to the riddle of life. Masonry is a university, a college built without the sound of hammers or the voice of workmen. 
Masonry stands for universal education and is itself a house of universal education. All knowledge leads to the divine presence. Never forget that the lodges, whether they be on the tops of mountains or in the depths of valleys, are under the shadow of the mighty wing. It is with the deepest and sincerest pleasure that I have examined this manuscript by Brother George H. Steinmetz. Having written considerably on masonry and related subjects, I know his problems and share his dreams and convictions. I know that this book will be well received and that masons everywhere will welcome his research and findings and will gain new inspiration for their own studies. His words are timely, but even more valuable is the spirit of true masonry which shines through and consecrates his endeavors. Manly P. Hall Preface This eternal teaching of yoga spake I into Vivaswat, whom men shall call the Son, the Lord of Light, and he in turn communicated it to Manu, the reigning spirit, and he in turn transmitted it to Ixvaku, the founder of the Solar Dynasty, and from him it was passed on from higher to lower degree, until it was known to the royal sages. But know, O Prince, that as the years have passed, this noble teaching hath decayed and its light hath grown dim, almost lost hath become its inner spirit, and men know not but its letter, such is ever the fate of truth among the race of men. How truly this described the origin and present state of Freemasonry is only too well recognized by those who love Masonry more for her great hidden truths than for her ritual and ethical teaching. This book has been written in the hope of clearing away some of the rubbish of the temple that the seeking craftsmen may discover those precious jewels which there lie buried. The primary purpose is to delve into the secret doctrine in Freemasonry, to seek out and examine those deeper aspects which are of interest to the serious student of Masonic philosophy who is earnestly searching for more light. With such a purpose paramount, this work is offered as a continuation of Freemasonry its hidden meaning. The concept of Freemasonry therein promulgated will not, therefore, be repeated on the assumption that those who read herein are already familiar with that thesis. Rather, we shall proceed to take another regular step forward towards the East of Masonic Enlightenment. It is my sincere wish that you who read may do so with pleasure and profit to yourselves and honor to the fraternity the glory and beauty of whose philosophy can at best but be feebly grasped by the finite mind. G.H.S. Acknowledgements. Our deep appreciation is expressed to our good friend and mentor, Manly Palmer Hall, for his carte blanche permission to quote as desired from his published works. The use of certain illustrations which are individually credited, taken from the fine collection of the Philosophical Research Society Library of Los Angeles. His helpful suggestions and counsel, and especially for his contribution of the board, our indebtedness is acknowledged to the splendid research library of the San Francisco Bodies, number one ancient and accepted Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, where much of our research was done. We would indeed be remiss were we to fail to mention the cooperation of our illustrious Brother Joseph Krieger for his sympathetic understanding of exactly what was desired and his excellent execution of design. In a work of this nature, the necessity is present to quote from many sources. We are grateful to the several publishing houses who so kindly granted their permission to quote from the volumes listed in the bibliography. G.H.S. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Rosies. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.